An oscilloscope is a piece of equipment that can measure the change of voltage as time passes. It looks pretty complicated, but basically we would put an input wire, which is probably there, and that would have the input of a voltage source. And we would then see a trace. Now, time is on the, the horizontal axis and the voltage is on the vertical axis. And so as time goes by, this dot is traced out on this screen, going up, down, up and down. And we can see we have a, an alternating current type of signal here, a voltage that is going backwards and forwards many times perhaps a second. We can use an oscilloscope trace to analyze a voltage signal and that's what our, this next flashcard is about. So here are here are oscilloscope traces showing the potential difference between uh, two different power supplies and we have to compare the potential differences of these power supplies. Now note that the Y display of both oscilloscopes is set to 50 volts per division. So that means each of these divisions is representing 50 volts. And that's true for this one as well. 50 volts. So how do we compare? Let's say, well, first of all, the shape is different. So let's call this case A and we'll call this case B. So for case A, we've got an oscillating waveform. It's oscillating. In fact, we could call this an AC waveform, where AC stands for alternating current. Now, I know we're looking at voltage, but the current will be doing the same thing. Well, how big is this voltage then? We can use the Y display to work that out. So how many divisions are there from the center line? Well, we've got one, two, three, and four divisions. So four divisions multiplied by the scale, which is 50 volts per division, 50 volts, we, we will get 200 volts. And this is equal to the, this is the amplitude, the amplitude of the waveform. Now it's really important that you notice that we didn't measure from the bottom to the top, we measured from the center line to the top. You see the center line is often referred to as zero volts. So the top then would be plus 200 volts and the bottom would be minus 200 volts. That's an AC waveform. What about part B then? Well, B is not oscillating, it's just remaining constant. And how many divisions? We've got one, two, three. So that distance there represents 150 volts. So this is a DC supply. Let's put that uh, here. So B is a DC supply and it's delivering 150 volts of continuous non-varying voltage.